All right, um, today we will be covering lesson 10, which is missing add-ends. If you remember, an add-end is one of the numbers you add together to get your sum, okay? So these would be add-ends. An important thing to know right off the bat is that a number sentence with an equal sign is an equation. So um, this is an equation, and this is also an equation. Um, whether or not it has a letter in it, which we call it variable, um, whether or not it has a variable in it, it is an equation. So this is an addend, this is an addend, this is an addend, and this is an addend too, but we would call this the missing addend because we don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to that one I had written on the bottom of the last slide. 8 plus W is 15. That one's fairly simple. Um, you might know uh, that 8 plus 7 is 15. And it is. So the W here has to equal 7. So if I was solving that equation, I would solve it for W, and W would be 7. Here's another one where the numbers are a little bit bigger. So um, it might be a little bit harder to do mental math with this. So let's say the problem is 24 plus M is 37. Uh, when I combine these two numbers, they have to equal 37. So if I take away 24, if I take that away from the 37, then what's left has to be my M. So I'm going to take away my 24, I have 13 left, so that has to be the 13 there. And of course you would check your work, 24 plus 13 actually is 37, so I'm good. M is 13 is my answer. Alright, here's another of a similar equation, but it's a little bit more complicated because we have 15 plus 20 plus 6 plus W equals 55. There are four add-ends in this problem. Now we know because of the commutative property we can add them together in whatever order we want. So let's add these three together right away which add up to 41. Then I have 41 plus W equals 55. And we know how to do that. We're going to take away this 41 and see what's left. So I did that here, 5 minus 1 is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1, um, so that's 14. So your W would be 14. Of course you would check your work, and it's right, so we're good. Uh, and that's how you'd solve a problem that has a lot of different add-ends in it. Alright, one more example. Here we have 35 plus M is 67. We're going to solve it the same way. Uh, since these two are added together, we're just going to take away the 35 and see what's left. So 67 minus 35 is 32. Put it in there. Check your work. 35 plus 32, 7, 6. We're good. So M is 32. For your homework, or in your notes, I need you to solve these two equations, please. 